In this problem, we're being asked to graph an absolute value equation. In this case, it's y equals negative 6 times the absolute value of x minus 5. Absolute value equations have this shape of a v when you graph them. Uh, it might be stretched or squished or turned upside down, but it's going to have uh, some kind of v shape. And there's this point that the v comes to. We call that the vertex. When we graph an absolute value equation, we want to try to graph the vertex first. So that's our first step. And that happens where this stuff inside the absolute value symbol equals 0. So if we're going to make a chart of x and y values, the first x value I want here is where this x minus 5 equals 0. So what, what can I put in for x to make this equal to 0? You might be able to see right away that if you put in a positive 5, 5 minus 5 would be 0. So this value is going to be 5. If you weren't sure how to make this equal 0, you could solve an equation. You could take what's inside there, x minus 5, and set it equal to 0 and solve for x. What you'd get is 5. So once we've gotten that, let's put x in and calculate y. So 5 minus 5 would be 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0. Negative 6 times 0 is still 0. So our vertex is at the point 5, 0. So let's go ahead and graph that. Now we want to choose points on either side of the vertex. We're going to have pairs of points, and those pairs are going to end up having the same y values. So I think first I'm going to look one point to the right and one point to the left of our vertex. So that would be the points 4 and 6. So 4 and 6. Let's put in 4 here. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is a positive 1, because remember, the absolute value turns anything negative into a positive. So that's a positive 1. Then I multiply that by the negative 6, and I get negative 6 times 1, or negative 6. If I put the 6 in here, I'm going to get the same thing. 6 minus 5 is a positive 1. Absolute value of that is still a positive 1, times negative 6 is negative 6. So I've got 4 negative 6. There we go. And 6 negative 6. You can probably already see we're going to have a downward opening uh, v shape here. And that makes sense. This negative sign at the front of the equation, that flips the v upside down. And you can probably get a sense of the shape of this already. But we should probably do two more points. So I'm going to go one more to the left at 3 and one more to the right at 7. So 3 and 7. When I put 3 in here, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Take the absolute value of that, I get positive 2. Multiply it by negative 6, I get negative 12. I'm going to get the same thing for 7. You can plug that in and crank it out yourself if you, if you don't believe me. It's true, though. So we've got 3 and negative 12. So go down 6 more here, and 7 and negative 12. Once I've got all those points in there, I can go ahead and draw my two arms. And there we go. That is what the absolute value, or negative 6 times the absolute value of x minus 5 looks like. And that's how to graph an absolute value equation.